All right, welcome everyone to the Historic District Commission meeting of February 11th, 2022. At this time, I will announce that the meeting is being recorded. Uh, we are not live on Channel 9. The meeting will be available for review on YouTube after the fact. So I'm going to call the meeting to order and start with a roll call. Eno? Eno Kalpi, Commissioner Present. Claire? Claire Kalpi, Commissioner Present. Ken? And Duranian Commissioner present. Hold on a second. I gotta get rid of some on my screen. Uh, Susan Gherkin. Susan Gherkin, Commissioner present. Mary Jane. Mary Jane Churchville, Commissioner present. Elisa Struthers, Member Chairman present. Okay, uh, a few guidelines, Chairman's guidelines for the meetings. Um, the audience, I'll ask you to remain muted. Um, if you have questions or a comment, please wait until you're recognized by the chair. Um, and when recognized, state your full name. And I'll ask for decorum throughout this meeting. So first up, do I hear a motion to approve the meeting minutes of January 21, 2022, and approve the chairman to sign for the commission. So move. Claire Kalpi, so move. Yep. Second, Eno Kalpi. Any discussion? Hearing none, ready to vote. Eno? Eno Kalpi, yes. Claire? Claire Culpe, yes. Ken? And Duranian, yes. Susan? Susan Gherkin, yes. Mary Jane? Mary Jane Churchville, yes. Alisa Struthers, yes. <clears throat> we have four minutes till we can open the public meeting. I understand we can't open it before. So that went a little quicker. Does everybody have all their material they need? Yes. 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 I will be screen sharing also. Thank you for sending that out, Lisa. Great job. This will be the longest four minutes going. You guys were quick on your motions, so. We'll, we'll try to slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do we know who's at the meeting? Do we know? Oh, we look up here at the top, correct? Yep. Can you see the participants? Harrison Moyet. And you, oh, oh, Mark Hagerstrom, yeah, I see. T Camp Dave, T Camp Hartley, Ken, yeah, okay, I'm good. I don't okay. see our applicant yet, but perhaps she's coming in at 420. Yeah, but her husband's there. Maybe she's on his email. I don't know that, I don't know. But the invites went out. Did everyone get outside today? Absolutely. Yes, we did. I did. That's good. We've got the ice fishermen down on the pond and they're throwing the pickerel to the eagles. So eagles are eating oh. good today. <laughs> uh -huh. How many eagles are there? We, we, see, we see two. We've wow. seen three. Beautiful. Yeah, I see two. And they fight with the crows. <laughs> yes. National Geographic. 
Got a few hawks out this way, though. We've been seeing a lot of red tails. Yeah. When I'm out yep. and about. So I don't know what eagles do with them. They have them for dinner or what, but uh, oh. <laughs> that's that. I wouldn't want to see that uh, entanglement. I'm surprised you let your little dog out. On a short leash, Claire. We uh, we do we do keep an eye to the sky when we're over there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's funny because the hawks will just sit in the tree and watch us yeah. go around like a hawkeye. <laughs> As I'm told, he's not interested in me. I said, no, I, I wouldn't think so. But um, I think our little guy is too big for him to pick up. I've come to that conclusion. Anything smaller, fair game. Yeah. Yeah. So we're very careful about that. Uh, Boo boo, get away. Boo boo, run. <clears throat> Almost there, guys. Oh, 420. Okay. Can I have a motion to open the public hearing at 420 p.m.? I so move to Mary Jane Church from moves to open the public meeting at 420 p.m. Claire Copy seconds. Vote Tino Copy. Yes. Claire Copy. Yes. Kendaranian. Yes. Susan Gurkin. Susan Gurkin, yes. Mary Jane Churchville? Mary Jane Churchville, yes. And Elisa Struthers, yes. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you. First time doing this. So are you all seeing what I'm seeing? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I do. Okay. So before us is an application for from Candace Hagerstrom at 478 Main Street, West Townsend, Mass. I don't know that our applicant is here. Candace, are you with us? Oh, I see Mark. Mark, are you, are you representing? You'll have to unmute. Hello, yes, sorry. Hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, welcome, you've met the commissioners here. Yes. Okay, so this is an application for a certificate of appropriateness. Okay. And um, the commissioners, you've all read it. Anyone in the audience who hasn't, uh, she's seeking, um, again, a certificate of appropriateness for work, however, that's already been done. Uh, as we all know, and for anyone who doesn't know, uh, typically this process would be, it would come before the historic district first and get reviewed and then the work would be done. In this case, the work was done first. So we all know that. So moving down, let's go to the full pictures. So this is the before, and this was the work that was done. So, is there any discussion? How about the door? Go ahead, Mary Jane. The door, the door. <clears throat> Four, seven, six, I don't think the door is appropriate for historic um, architectural purposes. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but I don't think there were any doors like that back in the day. Agreed. Full glass doors didn't exist then. Um, however, um, a half glass door would be more appropriate or perhaps providing grills if there aren't any there already would at least be moving in the right direction. Um, I do have, here's a picture of the, the, that shows the house as well. 
which has six over six windows. Is that how I state it, Ken? Six over six. And when they rebuilt the barn, you see they carried over the six over six windows nicely um, mm -hmm. to four in the garage. Um, I've, I'll put my two cents worth in. Um, the windows, I'm okay with, but again, the door is just not, I, I, I drove through the neighborhood several times. I went up and down to the whole district and looked at all the doors. And there, there's no, in a residential setting, any type of commercial door like this. Um, I can't see the front of, of your house, Mark. Um, it's behind a storm door. Um, however, this is an unfortunate choice for the door because it, in my opinion, just that is not not appropriate for the character of the historic district. Okay. Any Claire? You know any comments? Questions? I do. Um, I believe that the side of that addition is viewed from the road also, which would fall under our jurisdiction. Yes. Yes. I've seen that. Yeah. Those windows are, are visible as well. And uh, that's not incorporated into this application. No, right. this application is seeking appropriate, uh, is seeking approval of, of what they've already done, which should have been reviewed. Like I said, the process was a little obscure in this case. Could you, could you go back to the before picture again, please? And what was there, a, uh, a pair of, by, uh, um, hinged, hinged uh, shed doors, type of thing. Okay. Because we have to be careful what we're reviewing here. If if it's just the new construction of the shed portion, and it is as as so written, mm -hmm. I mean we, we can't carry the conversation on the other sides of the of the garage, the transoms above the door, and so on. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, as, as an architect, I could comment on on the whole thing, but that's not what we're here for. So there are other inappropriate architectural elements contained on this facade. If we're just focusing in on the door, um, I agree with you, Elisa, that, that it's inappropriate on its own for this, um, you know, for the consideration of it to be retained and maintained as a historic structure or within the historic district confines. And, and what we see a lot and what, we've, what we have seen a lot too as, as a commission is, um, some of these applications present a modern interpretation of what they think is a historic architectural detail, but with a modern twist, you know, either to allow more light or some other reasoning and it's gotten through. So um, we just have to be careful of, of um, what it is we're looking at and voting on if it comes to that today. And, and what is before us is again, this work that's already been done. Is there, uh, Mark, is there, is there some type of uh, business or advertising on the window of the door? Uh, it just says um, dog salon on it. Okay. Well, in a residential district, there's bylaws, and I sent an email to Candace outlining the sign requirements. And I included in that email the requirements in a residential district, the Mass General Law 40C requirements, as well as the town bylaws for signs in a residential district. Yeah. If there's going to be signage, Yeah, she had no intentions of putting any signs up. 
as far as advertising. There's nothing at the road directly no. down. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we weren't going to put any on the building or anything. So that's not going to remain on the door. Well, if the, if the if what's on the door needs to be taken down, that could be taken down. No problem. Well, no, I it's just, not the name of the business or anything. It just says dog salon on it. Yeah. I just want to. I believe me. Mark, every one of us on this commission lives in a historic district and in a historic house. So we're, yep. all, we're all very used to all these guidelines and I, I wanted you to know that. Okay. Um, so signs that are not subject to review are stated in Mass General Law here, section eight, number seven. And it's, again, look around the neighborhood at the signs, especially across the street, you go up and down through the district, you'll notice they're all wooden signs painted on wood without any logo or trademark. So right. I just wanted to, I, mm -hmm. I, along the lines, I didn't see anyone kind of give you guys that information. So I wanted to make sure you had it. Okay, thank you. So going forward, if you did wish to have signage, you get an application, fill it out. We'll help you any way we can. Mm -hmm. with what's needed there or a further explanation of, of the guidelines for signage. Okay. So uh, more than happy to help you out with that. Thank you. So yeah, I'm the door. Hmm, I, uh, the door I, I, I can ask humbly ask if maybe in the future, sometime in the near future, um, you would consider maybe changing out that to a more appropriate door. That uh, would tie, like what, like tie in. Door? Well, look around the neighborhood. Yeah. Go around the neighborhood and look at the types of doors. Yeah, on the front of our house, we have a wooden door. With, uh, what, four panes over top or? Uh, it's like a little square window. Yeah. But again, yeah. Drive around through in that district, drive around there and look at the front doors and you'll get a, there's a, there's a good variety of doors um, that, uh, that I feel are more appropriate than this looks just a, a way too commercial for the historic character of the district. Okay. I when agree. I Susan? Go ahead. Any other commissioners? Any other? This is Daniel speaking. The, uh, the windows, given their smaller size with the uh, four over four, uh, there's really not much we can do to change that. We wouldn't really want to, but Again, with the door, uh, perhaps we should just uh, wait and have the applicant come back and give us a few options on what they think and we think would be appropriate. Uh, this is Mary Jane Churchville. Um, how about if we deny the appropriateness and mark the file? Well. Okay, let's. And if the they come back, if they come back, like say next year or in six months, with a new door, then we could reopen it and approve. No, hey, let's. Oh. So, assistant building permit application, which states right here. Got existing 20 by 12 section of the garage for a new framing, insulation, new windows, doors, boards, and plaster. And that was approved. So, they hold a valid building permit for what they did. What we can do as a commission is is ask if in the you know at some time going along 
if you'd consider and maybe change that door out um, for something a little more appropriate. I think that the other residents within the district who have kept their homes in that historic character, we'd probably appreciate it. And, um, and on that note too, to any residents, other residents in historic district three in West Townsend, this, this by no means sets a precedent for any future work going forward on another property. This, this has been built. We will, vote, we will vote on if we feel it's appropriate. And we can ask if down the road you might consider and put a more appropriate door up there to keep, again, the character of the district. Definitely. Yeah. So, do you have any questions, Mark? No, uh, I mean, just the, uh, just the door, like uh, it's an all, it's, it's mostly glass. Um, I'm not sure, you said to take a look around the neighborhood, but I don't know if there was something more um, more detailed on what you really want on that door. Like, is it half glass, half, you know, or wood, or do you just want maybe I don't want detail. like a different color, like a, a color door? Like, you can make, you can take a modern door and make it look old. I, I don't know exactly what type of, there's so many doors out there. Um, I think it's the full pane glass that is that I find not appropriate. So if it was like half, that would be good. Modern, um, not modern looking, but more, say original, I guess. Well, there's all kinds of door styles out there from that yeah. period. And maybe you can, um, I, I've done a lot of research on doors, like again, in the neighborhood. There's yep. a, a door, a half door that would have six panes above it. Um, okay. That would carry in with your six over sixes. Um, half farmhouse door. doors. Yeah. Like yeah. a farmhouse door, half glass with divided lights above. And then the bottom part is, is um, vertical boards or a cross brace. Something yep. like, along that okay. idea. I mean, yeah, I, I got images up, if, but I don't need to share those. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure. I do, yeah. Yep. They're very okay. common. It yep. would tie more in with your farmhouse. Okay. Is that just, that really kind of comes right out at you and said, well, whoa, what's that? It's contemporary, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. contemporary is right. Okay. I mean, even, so, if it, even if it weren't in, in, in a historic district, I'd still question the choice of that door, just in general, because it's mm -hmm. an, old, an older structure. So that's just my take on it. But, um, you know, the... Uh, the, the garage doors themselves and what are we trying to do? You know, that's where we have to be careful of, of what we're asking them to do. So I'm glad you're limiting it to just the door. Right. To, well, that's you know, point on the windows. I agree with that. You know, you could argue anything, the casing, the trim, the lighting fixtures, but that's not what we're here for. So, right. um, but I would agree with that, um, that direction as an, that, under, as an advisement. Right, and that's a suggestion, Mark. That's something we're just asking, okay? Yeah. It's yeah. Um, and sort of, you know, for the district to keep that character. Yeah. And even for your own home, which is, which is a farmhouse, you know, a lovely yeah. home and yeah. but keep that appearance. Okay. Did, um, when did you actually find out you lived in a historic district? <laughs> Um, probably like a month after we started doing this, that we really knew that we, that we lived in, I mean, we knew that it was an older town as far as like having, needing approval and all that. We had no idea. Yeah. You no. Know? You're really. The contract we had hired, it was, uh, Matt, he does, he had done jobs all around here. That's why we hired him. It was really hard to get. And uh, he was familiar with the area and, and with the town. And so, um, we, you know, it was never even a question with that. So I, yeah. 
we didn't even we never knew. We were just making sure that we got our got all our permits and yeah, you know. Your realtor never told you that you lived in. No, his- I mean no. I don't. No, she never right. told us. As far no. as the door, I mean, the only reason why we had a glass door is just to get some sunlight in there. That was the reasoning behind a glass door, just because yeah. it's so small. Right. Uh, but. Right. And Security then you- is an issue, too, with, with that much glass in a door. Just FYI, in any residence, the, the security and the locking of that door and the three-point locking system is attractive. It's basically known as a patio door or a single French door or an atrium door. There's many terms to that slab. Um, but if you look at the, the overhead doors next to it, the garage doors, and then there's a transom above it, there's no glass in those doors. So the light is allowed to enter from above, giving the, the garage door some secure aspect. Same thing on this shed, this, this lean-to addition. If the door were solid and you just had windows next to it, that's how you get light inside without people peering into the glass and and so on. Mm-hmm. That's a little bit of the concept behind that, but yeah. yeah. And, and you know, Mark, you can contact us at any time if you have questions about, you know, what, if you want any advice or suggestions, uh, okay. we're, we're always here to help. And uh, it's, un- it's unfortunate that this took the wrong path. Um, and that's why we're, we're at this point today, yeah. but typically it, we would have seen you first before the work was done and, right. and, and then you would have had, had some, some guidance on what was appropriate for the district. So mm-hmm. anybody else? <clears throat> no further discussion? Nope. All right. So what we're voting on, of course, the work has already been done. This vote is not to, let me see. We are voting on if we find the work that has been, been done to be appropriate. Everyone understand that? Yes. All right. So, can I have a motion? Mary Jane Churchill makes a motion to take a vote on the appropriateness of the work that has already been done. I second it, Claire Culpe. Okay. Ready to vote, Eno Kalpi? Eno Kalpi, I vote yes. You find it appropriate? I do. Okay. Claire Kalpi? Claire Kalpi, no. Tenderanian? Tenderanian, no. Susan Gherkin? Susan Gherkin, no. Mary Jane Churchville? Mary Jane Churchville, no. And Elisa Struthers, no. So Mark, this means that we're not, we cannot issue you a certificate of appropriateness. So this is gonna go on file because we're obligated to process your application and the work was done beforehand and you had a valid working permit, building permit, okay? So we're obligated, however, to process the application. So this will go on file. And like we discussed, we just asked, we're asking if maybe you'll consider doing that for the sake of the district and the appearance of the district to seek a more appropriate door. Okay. Okay, I think that um, the abutters might like it and people might like it. So. So that's it. And I do want the people of West Townsend to know, people of Historic District 3, again, this does not set a precedent of any other work going forward in the future. 
this is a special case which took the wrong path. So that's where we are, why we got here today. Okay, a motion to adjourn the public hearing. So moved, Claire Copy. Second, Eno Copy. And ready to vote, Eno? Eno Copy, I vote yes. Claire Copy. Claire Copy, yes. Andoranian? Andoranian, yes. Susan Gherkin? Susan Gherkin, yes. Mary Jane? Mary Jane Churchill, yes. And Elisa Struthers, yes. And with no other business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the meeting. Mary Jane Churchill makes a motion to adjourn the meeting. Black Alpy, second. All in favor, aye. <laughs> We'll take a vote. Eno? I vote yes. Eno copy. Claire? Claire copy, yes. Kinderanian? Kinderanian, yes. Susan Gherkin? Susan Gherkin, yes. Mary Jane? Mary Jane Churchill, yes. And Elisa Struthers, yes. Meeting is adjourned at 4.45 p.m. <laughs>